that there is an agreement to observe a moment of silence in memory of Hardeep Singh Nijer, assassinated in Surrey, British Columbia, one year ago today. I now invite honourable members to rise. For three months, this Prime Minister has known about serious allegations that parliamentarians are knowingly working with foreign governments to undermine our country, yet we don't know if he's had a single conversation with any member of his caucus. Mr. Speaker, all parliamentarians in this House know how important it is to protect our democracy uh, from foreign interference. Uh, that is why we've been working together, whether it's on a National Security Committee of uh, parliamentarians uh, that we created over the objections of the Conservative Party. Over the past number of weeks, Canadian security agencies have been actively pursuing credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. For three months, this Prime Minister has known about serious allegations that parliamentarians are knowingly working with foreign governments to undermine our country, yet we don't know if he's had a single conversation with any member of his caucus. And the Conservative Party leader doesn't even want to know about serious allegations of foreign interference that directly impact their party. Why do both of these leaders put the interests of their party in front of our country? Here, here, here. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, as all parliamentarians know, uh, in the Honourable Member from uh, Battle River Crowfoot knows indeed uh, uh, that he should not be speaking at the time. So I'm, I'm going, going to ask the Honourable Member, the Right Honourable Prime Minister, to start from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, all parliamentarians in this House know how important it is to protect our democracy uh, from foreign interference. Uh, that is why we've been working together, whether it's on a National Security Committee of uh, parliamentarians uh, that we created over the objections of the Conservative Party, uh, whether it's through uh, strengthened mechanisms within our national security uh, universe, but also uh, through uh, election interference uh, monitoring by top public servants. Uh, we have taken more actions on preventing public, uh, foreign interference than any other government, and we've continued to work with independent commissions like the Public Inquiry to get to the bottom of it. The Honourable Member for Burnaby South. ...and not taking action. For three months now, the Prime Minister has had information about allegations of parliamentarians knowingly, knowingly helping India and China. The Prime Minister thinks he knows better than everyone but he has failed to act. He's done nothing. And meanwhile, the Conservative leader is hiding because he does not want to know the truth. Why will neither of these leaders put Canada's best interests before their own best interests? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, last week, both the NDP leader and the Green Party leader obtained security clearance such that they were able to read the full, unredacted, classified ENSICOP report. 
then they were able to share their point of view. They had two different points of view, but they were able to read it and share that. But the Conservative leader has chosen to remain ignorant in the dark. He does not want to obtain security clearance to read the classified information because he prefers to simply engage in partisan attacks.